What is happening, fellow pioneers of human transportation? Yogi Steve, ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. We are back out here again trying to make some money. We're really only out here for a three hour shift. I'll be out here from like 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. no matter what, just three hours exactly sharp. So uh, wish me luck, let's just go slow, go safe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Leave a comment, ask questions, set your notifications for the live stream, and let's go. We're actually out here five minutes before the hour, 10.55. We're at Target, we're gonna sit down and wait for 15 minutes. If we don't get an order, we're gonna go over to Chick-fil-A. Probably hard for you to tell, but I'm on a different scooter today. I'm on my Dualtron Ultra V2. Uh, all this week I've been driving my Ultra 2, which is the 72 volt Dualtron line. This is the previous generation, the 60 volt Dualtron line, which is still a freaking amazing scooter. This scooter has 8,000 miles on it though, and it still performs unbelievably well. It's not my oldest scooter. My oldest scooter has 11,000 miles on it. That's uh, the first generation Dualtron Ultra. So, all right, so we're out here today on the Dualtron Ultra V2. Just trying to be safe. Let's get to, uh, let's go sit down. I haven't had this scooter out for such a long time. The rear brake pads need to be changed. So let's time it like a fucking race car, like we're at a racetrack or something, like we're doing a race. So how long does it take me to change my rear brake pads while I eat an apple while we're on the road? It's slow, we're not getting any orders. In any job, the most important thing is to have the right tools. I like this tool for removing the small screws on the bumper. You don't have to take this whole piece off, by the way. You just gotta take the left side off so you can get the caliper off. Now this is off, boom. Maybe this is a tricky part. You gotta straighten this out and pull this off. It's no big deal. Straighten out this pin, pull out the pin. Even your clinic, you take the pads, push them in. If they don't fit, you know, you need some space. You need space here if you need to. You take an Allen wrench, bring it to the inside and push that pad. Because when you, you need enough space for it to get back on the rotor on the disc, right? Now this goes on here. You got to put this pin back in first. It'll fit real easy. And you got to take your, I like to use my, I never go anywhere without, it, without a needle nose pliers. Okay, boom. That's the perfect tool. Right there. This will go right on. All right, that's perfect. Here we go. All right, we're done. It took us uh, nine minutes. We just got to clean up. All right, $5, 2.4 mile breakfast for public across the street. Let's go. This order is pretty far. It's all the way over on Western at 2.4 miles from basically here, but I guess we're, we're getting closer to top dash or almost at 40%. Yeah, the, the brakes are squeaky on this thing. I'm not gonna try to hide it, guys. The brakes are squeaky on this thing. If the order's not on the shelf for the driver, that just means it's not ready, right? Yeah. Okay, no problem. Thanks, guys. All right, we finally got it, guys. Okay, be safe and have a good one. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. Can you channel one more time? Uh, yeah, it's easy. It's Electric Scooter Academy. Okay. You remember the electric scooter? That's easy. I'm like a fake teacher, so I call it Electric Scooter Academy. Nice talking to you guys. Take it okay, easy. Okay, guys, we're going all the way over to Western. It's a really far ride for five bucks, but we're happy to be on the road, improving our acceptance rate. I guess we're going for Top Dasher, but a uh, pretty far trip now, so... I'll see you in about two miles. I believe we are really close. I think this is a, probably a store drop off. This is usually pretty easy. We're looking for 928. Oh, there it is. Unfortunately, not a store. It's a building. Uh, this guy didn't leave any apartment number or nothing. Maybe he's out front. You never know with customers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy's directions are leave at the door, but it's a big apartment complex, so I'm gonna call him, I guess. Hello? Hey there, it's your food. I'm right at the entrance. It says leave at the door, but I don't have an apartment number for you or anything. Yeah, I'm coming downstairs right now, bro. Um, All good, all good. No problem, man, thanks. I guess this guy's coming down, so. Snap a photo of him while he grabs it. And I'm waiting for a customer. There's my customer right there, Lamar, right? Uh, yes, All right, man, thank you very much. Enjoy, dude. Take it easy, you got it. You too. All right, guys, easy enough. Now we're gonna go back to, um, I guess the, no, I guess we're close to Chick-fil-A. Oh, that's crazy. Let's just go to Chick-fil-A.
Pulled over really quick. We got this McDonald's order for 0.7 miles, $4.50. It's the McDonald's on Vine. Should be pretty easy. So, right behind us, right? Yeah, behind us. This is like any other McDonald's. You just bring the, bring the bike inside. $4.57.7, huh? That's what it's come down to. Where's the fucking entrance? It's on the other side. I don't know why I'm even down where the entrance is. I've been here before. Oh, they're having trouble with their orders? Yeah. Oh, shit. So, I got Jordan A, but you guys are way behind. We don't have Wi-Fi. You don't, you don't, you're not even doing the orders then. Okay, no problem. No problem. All right, so I'm actually going to call DoorDash to cancel this. I don't want to screw with my acceptance This rate. McDonald's is not taking orders because their Wi-Fi is down. I do not want my acceptance rate to be affected, and I would like to get paid something for coming here. This is taking some time, but hopefully worth it. The restaurant is likely having harder issues. Please go ahead and place your order by reading out your menus on the app. No, DoorDash already paid for the order. Okay. Oh my God, are you kidding me? I'm not sure if I'm going to do this order. I don't, I don't want to place the order. Let me see how hard it is. Nuggets, fries, it's got a McFlurry, forget about it. I'm just going to cancel it. Hey, Rudy, it's hard to miss you with the yellow vest, man. I think I saw you when I was all the way down Sunset. I got one $5 order in an hour. I'm not doing good. I gotta, I gotta sit down. Sit. We're sticking to the plan. We sat here for 15 minutes, didn't get an order, and so we're going to go back to um, back to Target now. I can't just sit there and do nothing. Right as we were trying to get out of there, we actually got a uh, 2.4 mile, $7 Chick-fil-A. So we're going back to Chick-fil-A, I guess. All right, this is crazy. Now we got a $6, 1.2 mile, another Chick-fil-A from DoorDash on top of it. So we, we left like two minutes too soon. We should have sat there. We got, we got a double incoming. We didn't realize it. So now we got to go back. We take our time though. We're way early on these orders. They called you, right? Yeah, no, oh, yeah. I'm door no, no, me too, me too. Uh, I, I thought I heard they call your name. That's you, baby. All right, I got the Chichu, the hard one. Yes. And I'm also waiting for this DoorDash. It's Raquel T. It's not ready yet. You said Kelsey? Raquel, Raquel T for DoorDash. Raquel yeah. I'll swipe this one, no problem. You got, oh my gosh, you're the best. I didn't think you'd be ready. Thank you so much. I'm way too happy about this order. Whoa, shit. Oh, it spilled, but did not spill. Nice. Boom. All right, guys, we got it. We almost fucking dropped it. Hey, Rudy, grab a soda for me. Just grab a soda for me, man. The fucking old man dropped a soda. It took one fucking second. I thought I was like, no. It, you know, it's funny. It fell, but it didn't spill. These tops are like glue. Yeah, you know, I don't work dinner. Okay, it's good to see you, buddy. All right, guys, so we do have a double now. It's like $13 in orders. One's going north, one's going south, but they're not too far. So let's do the one to the north first, the DoorDash. Let's go. The only thing that's going to make this order tough is the traffic, man. This is crazy traffic today. I mean, we go around everything, but it doesn't really help us. I believe we've been to this address before. It's like 69. Maybe this is it right here, because I know I've been to this building for sure. We're lucky this is it. Oh, this is it. Okay. 6900-201. How do we get in here? Okay, we got 201 on the call box, so we're going to tie up. All right, we're under a little bit of pressure time, but I think we're going to be okay here. This is Raquel. Okay, yeah, Raquel. It's got her name on it. Okay, perfect. Quick tie-up lesson. This is the Kryptonite lock. Link in the description. Pretty much the only lock that I use and never had problems with it. This thing is almost four years old, I think. Had it for a long time. Perfect. Are these stairs? Please be stairs. Yes. All right, the dog was a good alarm system as usual. All right, $6.25. Now we got to go south with the rest of this order. Not like I really knew how fast this would be. All right, let's go. Let's untie it and go south. I believe we are here. This is another one of those pin orders. What's up with the pin? Hey, you're my customer. Chase Soul. How you doing? 
guess I need like a pin number from you, huh? Okay, four, two, five, three. Thank you very much. Four, two, five, three. Take it easy. You're all set. Thank you. Four, two, five, three. Come on. All right, boom. Got it. Pin number, no problem. Going back to Target Center, maybe we'll get lucky and pick up a nice little Jersey Mike's or something. What's up, I had? I had an apple today. Do all the smart drivers eat apples? I just ate one. What's going on, buddy? For Uber, I have Ansley W. I also have a DoorDash Danielle C. If you want to give me that one. I'll probably want to try it. Oh, they're not ready. Okay, no problem. Carry out for Ali. I'll take that Daniela. Yeah. And I also got, uh, you got Ainsley by any chance? Yes, Ains Ainsley you. W, beautiful. They got it, it's a miracle. Can you confirm both orders? Oh, absolutely, of course, 100%, thank you. Oh Hi guys, we're happy we got it. This is gonna be a long trip, but this is like over 20 bucks coming. This first order is just going straight up to Franklin, about half a mile, and then we got a few miles for the second one, but good payout for 20 bucks. Hello to LAPD. All right guys, let's go. Any of you guys ride a one wheel? They're pretty cool. Glad to see this guy's wearing a wearing a helmet. Most one wheelers I notice don't really like the helmets that much. So I believe there were some notes. I think this uh, this drop off is right here on the corner. It might even be this building here. Oh, uh, it is. It is this building here. Okay, we got it. We got it. Uh, oh, oh, hi Ainsley, enjoy, thank you. Thank you. All right, awesome guys, let's get number two down. I hope we didn't bite off more than we could chew in this order, man. We're talking about 3.3 miles. I guess that's why it pays so much, let's go. At least it's an Uber order, it's a DoorDash order, so I can turn off Uber and we can go quick. I want to try to bring this scooter to 40 miles per hour so you can see what it sounds like. It's a little different than the uh, 72 volt, this is the 60 volt. The problem is, is there's so much traffic here. I don't want to go 40 miles per hour in the goddamn bike lane. But maybe right here we can. On Melrose Avenue for a half mile. Yeah, we should get the 40 from here and put it in third gear. The problem is we're down to half battery, so we're not going to have a lot of acceleration. Actually, how do you like that? I can't even get the 40 because I'm only on half battery. And I have the scooter on battery saver mode, so, <laughs> so much for that. It's going to be a little confusing around here because this is Melrose Place, which is not necessarily Melrose. This is a secondary street. We're close. We're looking for a store named Frame or something like that. Oh, there it is. The store is named Frame. Perfect. Two black doors to the stairs. All right, right here. Okay, huh. This is it. I'm right up here. I don't have to worry about my vehicle being stolen here, that's for sure. It's a nice store. It smells amazing in here. It smells like a new girlfriend's apartment, basically. We have been out here for three hours and we made 30 bucks, I think. So we're back to day one where we had like the worst day ever. Doesn't matter though. We're having fun making the video. We're having fun being out in the sun. And now we got to go all the way back to, uh, we're pretty far west right now. We got to head east. I feel good. I could force myself to stay out here, but two o'clock is when it really, really slows down. So, oh, here's an order coming in. So hope this will be something good. Let's see here. Bevmo. Oh no. What is this going to be from Bevmo? What? Start customer verification. What the fuck is this? I don't know. There's something wrong with the. There's something something wrong with the app. Basically, DoorDash is trying to uh, give me this order, and now I can't end my dash. All right. I guess I got out of it. Okay. I guess I think we fucking figured it out. Okay, after all that, DoorDash did actually, DoorDash did actually send us a alcohol order for like seven bucks and two miles. So we're gonna take it to be our finisher. We're gonna work past two o'clock, but I want to keep my acceptance rates going up. My acceptance rate going up. We're already at like forty-five percent. So um, let's just do this stupid order. We gotta like check the person's ID and everything. But the pickup should be pretty easy. Let's go. I made a mistake accepting that last order. You know, I, I, I almost forgot. I'm on my first generation Ultra, which is, it's got a lot less range than my Ultra 2. 
so we put about 22 miles on it but all at high speed so i didn't want to risk having to walk home it was like a three mile each way order guys i appreciate your support I'll try to put the numbers up here, but it's embarrassing. I think we did $30 in three hours, but it doesn't really matter. The show will go on. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave comments, ask questions, set your notifications for the live stream. That's coming soon, I promise. Uh, thanks for your support.